Good morning, it's Friday, September 5th, 2008. I'm Jilly Bedanes and this is the Morning Briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following on WashingtonTimes.com. Well, Senator John McCain accepted the Republican Party's nomination last night and vowed to fix Washington. In the town hall style speech, McCain told the crowd he was better equipped than Senator Obama to get past the partisanship of Washington and would work with anyone on either side of the aisle with good ideas. Senator McCain praised his VP choice Sarah Palin, warning what he called the old big spending, do-nothing crowd in Washington that change is coming. Governor Sarah Palin has said repeatedly that she said no thanks on the famous Bridge to Nowhere project, but another big earmark called the Don Young Highway that would benefit her hometown may conflict with some of her promises to reduce wasteful spending. As Governor Palin has expressed support for the project that would help reduce traffic congestion in her hometown of Wasilla, but would cost an estimated half billion dollars of private and public funds. The widower of Benazir Bhutto, Azif Ali Zadari, is expected to be elected president of Pakistan on Saturday. Many Pakistanis distrust him and see him as corrupt, arrogant, and inexperienced. But in a column in the Washington Post yesterday, Zadari pledged as president he would amend the Constitution, bring back the balance of powers, and restore the judges who were dismissed by Pervez Musharraf. And finally, yesterday, former lobbyist Jack Abramoff was sentenced to four years in prison for defrauding clients and partners and corrupting public officials. His cooperation with investigators earned him some leniency as federal guidelines had called for over a decade of prison time. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com and check in later today where I'll be looking ahead at next week's news stories.